So here is a model kit you might not know about, and I enjoy doing unboxing videos of models that people don't know about. This is the Asurada AKF Zero Spiral Boost Mode race car from Cyber Formula. Now this is an anime that I, I may have seen maybe one episode of. I, I was kind of only half paying attention to it. But um, it's uh, it it's known for featuring some pretty awesome looking cars. I guess this is the main character, I, I imagine. I don't know. But look at that. That is freaking cool. That is cool. Alright, so um, I picked this up at the Hobby Show. Shizuoka Hobby Show. Let's take a look inside. I uh, looked a, just briefly here in this. Um, now this is a kit made by Aoshima. And here are your parts. Alright, so... Important information, or well, whatever. Let's just uh, skip ahead here. So it gives you the, the colors. And I believe I have all of these colors already. RLM116. Yep, I have that one too. Yeah, I already have all these colors, so that, that, that's great. Um, now look at this here. Alright, so the car designs, even if you're not into the anime or whatever, you know, the car designs are just totally fantastic. And the car designs are made by Shoji Kawamori. And that name hopefully might ring a bell to anime fans. He is the one responsible for the mechanical designs uh, for the the Valkyries and another um, mechanicals in um, in the uh, 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 sorry. Well, it was called Robotech, but when I was a kid, uh, I'd I'd rather just forget about Robotech. Uh, Macross, super dimensional, super dimensional fortress Macross. Now, he did half of the designs. Like he did the the Valkyrie and all the destroids and stuff. The Zentradi and the SDF-1 Fortress itself was designed by another guy, and I don't remember his name off the top of my head. Um, uh, but anyhow, yeah, uh, his designs are really freaking cool. And just looking at this picture, if you've looked at like the Macross designs. The, his 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 sketch work and such, this really really will be immediately recognizable as his style. So it's got a little description about the show apparently in Japanese. All right, let's uh, let's move on. And look at this! Look at the, the the jets on this thing. This is what's so cool about this car. This is really fantastic looking. Uh, the designs for the these uh, spiral boosts or whatever they're called are just really awesome. So it looks like a futuristic formula racer. I guess it was supposed to occur in um, in uh, the 21st century, kind of like a futuristic race car show. That's all I know. I don't know. Um, so let's unbox this and uh, take a look at what is inside. Okay, so here are those uh, boosters, these rockets. Got some nice detail in there. There's my pointer outer thingy. There we go. That's pretty cool. Inside here you got this, uh, this nice mesh in there. That'd be great to do some dry brushing, I imagine, to bring out the detail. We got some more uh, boosters here. Really, really fantastic looking. Um, I, I imagine these are the rods. I think. And maybe these are for the wheels. Got some poly caps here. Um, let me check out the instructions real quick. And. Yep. Yeah, yeah, here are those rods there. This is what we're looking at here. So, yeah, it looks like, like a Formula One racer, but it's uh, super. Super futuristic and super neat looking. Alright, let's little open up some other bags here. Now the clear uh, the clear parts are not in a separate bag. I would like to uh, remove those and preserve them in their own bag. 
scratches, so that's good. That's really good. So you got the, the canopy, and you got these uh, these headlights or whatever. Neat stuff. Got some nice big tires. And uh, this looks like maybe the central part of the car here. Huh. Look at these tires. These are pretty cool. These are pretty darn cool. Huh. Neat. Floppy. Oh, here's the seat. That's really cool. It's like, uh, looks like this is the brake and the gas pedals here. Got some engine stuff and things. Engine makes car go. I know that. And let's open this up. These are the, those big, huge ass boosters, it looks like. And here's like those uh, exposed engines. Pretty fantastic looking. So I think you'll be uh, coloring that like a, like a burnt, burnt steel color or something. And. Oh, uh, yeah. So here's, it uh, looks like this is the front part of the car. You got the air intakes here. That's pretty nice. Got some sort of a mesh going on here. I don't know what that's about. And in here, oh look at this. This is the pilot in this bag. This is molded in that typical soft. It's not resin, but it's kind of like a kind of like a rubbery kind of a deal. I don't know what that uh, what that's about. Um, a lot of these uh, these kits come with this uh, you know uh, figures in this this type of material. Uh, I, don't, I don't know why it's uh, molded in this soft stuff instead of the regular plastic, but oh well. But it's got some locator pins here at least, and so you got the holes here to attach the arms. Same thing for the head, so that's nice at least. You just have to kind of gently uh, sand off the seam lines here. Now look at these, these are the boosters here, these are pretty awesome looking. Pretty neat. And you got some hubcaps here. I don't know what these are supposed to be colored. Um, I'll have to look at the instructions. And uh, here is the, where the driver sits. Here's like the, the cockpit area. This is really fantastic. And lastly are the decals. Um, they come in their own bag. Um, it looks like there's different options you can do. I don't know what that's about. You can do a number one or a number nine. And Huh, yeah, two different uh, sheets. Well, three actually. One, two, three. That is pretty cool. Very neat stuff. So, yeah, uh, yeah I'm, not, I'm not familiar with the show at all, but the cars look fantastic, and that is my motivation to, to, to get this, this kit. Um, I saw this at the... All Japan Hobby Show in September, and it really, really blew me away. Oh yeah, so this is, uh, I, I guess I didn't show this, this is like uh, part of the main body of the car. Um, I might just leave this wrapped in plastic because it will protect it, I suppose. Uh, the one thing I'm, I'm really concerned about are the, the, the clear parts. I don't want to get these scratched up. 
So, in fact, I think I'm going to put them in this bag here. And then uh, take them up or something. That'll keep them separated from everything else. So, thanks for watching. And um, if you're interested in this, um, again, I don't know about the show. I don't know if it's in English. I don't know if it's like uh, you know subtitled on Crunchyroll or or whatever people use to to to, sh to view anime. Um, I'm sure there might be some fan subs at least somewhere. I don't know, but I caught maybe one episode on cable television here in Japan uh, a long time ago, and um, oh, it wasn't too long ago. I think it was like within the past. I don't know, maybe last year. I, I don't remember. I don't remember what channel it was on. But regardless of whether the show is really fun to watch or not, this is a pretty cool race car. So I'm happy I got this. So I've been buying a lot of um, car models lately. So I think I'll be showing some uh, more unboxing videos of car models. So thanks for watching. Bye.